Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's video. So for this week's video, I'm literally just going to be showing you my summer makeup routine because I've not filmed in probably three weeks I know I've uploaded every week. I've just come to a complete mental block with ideas of what to have. So I've been doing this like every week for about 18 months now and this will be either my 99th or my 100th video. So I have done a lot and I don't want to start like repeating them over and over again. So I thought I would do this just because it's simple. I did have an idea for a skip video but I just don't have the time to film at the moment. So yeah, this is actually the first video I've filmed since I come back off holidays. Hopefully my natural skin is looking a little bit browner than it was before. Although I think the studio light is making me look very, very pale right now. But yeah, if you do enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And without further ado, let's jump straight on into it. So this summer, I don't know why, like normally I do wear quite a lot of makeup, I've just really not been feeling it. So I've been going like as light and basic as I possibly can. And the fact it fits into this little bag is saying something for me. So I mainly just focus on like my base products and then my eyes, I just kind of leave alone. Because the majority of the time I do have sunglasses on, so obviously we probably had the hottest summer I've ever known by an absolute mile. So I certainly don't want to be wearing eyeshadow and stuff because I don't know if I pay for people, but my eyes water an awful lot in this weather. So I just end up crying it all off. So it's just not even worth going there. I'll just do it all when we get back into the autumn. So the first thing I start off with is some sort of an SPF base because obviously it is sunny. The sun's strong in July and I don't want to be getting burnt or wrinkles or anything like that when I'm older. So I use the Urban Decay Urban Defense Complexion Primer, which has got SPF 30 in it. This is a very expensive one. I mean, it's come up to here. I've been using it for about two weeks. I think it's about £24. So it's not great value for money, but it's clear and all the other ones are white. And when I don't want to wear foundation, that's pretty good because it means like I don't have a white cast on my face. So this is the one I've been using. It's just like a clear silicone um, primer. And then I just kind of rub that into the whole of my face with my hands. And also it gives me then a super smooth glowy base for the day. It just smell a little bit like chlorine, which is a bit strange, but I mean, obviously it's not chlorine. So as you can see, when I rub my skin, it does go super red, but that will settle down. The next thing I use is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C2. And then I use my Beauty Blender. I just put this on any like spots or blemishes I want to hide. And as you can see, that is a tiny bit light for me now, even though it used to just, like, be quite dark. And then I'll just go and blend that in. And then I'll grab the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eye Erasing Concealer in the shade 3 Fair. This used to be way too dark, but then they brought out lighter shades. So I've got Ivory and Fair. Ivory now is, like, way too light. It literally looks, like, white on my face. But this is my perfect shade. It's so light, but it covers up the redness. So it's ideal. Yeah, I just put it along my nose because that's pretty red too. And then I just blend that in with the Real Techniques buffing brush because it seems to give a bit of a higher coverage than using a beauty blender. Now for my brows, it literally depends on what kind of a mood I'm in. So if I want to fill them in, I'll use the Freedom Duo Brow Powder and then the Benefit Brow Set to set them in place. But if I'm having a really lazy day and I just can't be bothered, I'll use the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler in the shade Blonde. And I'll just literally brush this through my brows because it gives them like a bit of shape, but it's just it's done in two seconds. But today I will fill them in because I can be bothered. Now, I'm not sure why, but I have like a big white patch here and a big white patch here. I think it's my studio light reflecting off my skin. I don't know. But they're definitely not there in real life. So, that's a little bit weird. And then I'm just going to set those into place with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Now, as you know, I absolutely love eyeshadow with like a passion. And I own probably about 45 eyeshadow palettes. But recently, unless I'm actually going out somewhere proper, I just won't bother doing it simply because I will just literally cry it off unless I'm inside somewhere. In fact, even air conditioning makes my eyes start watering. So it's just not even worth doing it. Why are my eyebrows 
So this is what I mean when I try and do something from a camera it goes wrong like my eyebrows are at completely different angles because I've tried to sit and do them on camera. I don't understand. But yeah, I just need mascara so first up I just kill my lashes because when I've not got eyeshadow on I try and make sure my lashes look extra long. First mascara I go in with, probably no surprise, it is the L'Oreal Mega Volume Mist Baby Roll. As you can see there is quite a bit of a difference between the eye and the eye and that is just with one coat. This is a really good mascara. The only good thing about not wearing eyeshadow is that it means I can be messy and get mascara on my eyelids because I can literally just wipe it off which for someone who's as clumsy as me is absolutely great. And then I'm going to go over the top with the Maybelline Total Temptation. This has looked a little bit like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara but I do prefer this. I'm just going to grab one of these cotton bud things, take it off of the mascara and that is my mascara finished. So next I'm just going to powder down because that um, primer leaves me feeling quite oily even though I don't have dry skin. So I use the NYX Hydra Touch Powder which again I've been using forever. As you can literally tell it is almost empty but I do have a new one. And then I'm just using my usual Spectrum AO1 brush. It just adds a little bit of colour to my face. I wonder as well, does anybody actually use these sponges for powder what you get inside? Like I remember you tried to use them when I was about 10 but I've never used one since. So then for highlighter now I've got a little bit of a tan, I've gone back to the Mary Luminizer by the Balm because it doesn't give me a big white streak like my other white ones do, it's like more champagne -y toned and it just gives like a natural glow because in summer I feel like it's more about natural makeup. And that just leaves you looking a little bit more glowy, even though these patches are still here. Maybe they won't be when I edit it, but I feel like I can just see two big patches. That's weird. And then finally, to finish off, I just use the Too Faced Melted Matte in Child Star, which is just like the perfect nude, and it lasts all day. I can't believe I've done that. Like, I've never got the lipstick on my chin in my life and then the day I'm filming I go and grab my lip which should make sense so I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll try and get rid of that but yeah I know a lot of people wear glosses and things like that in summer which yeah I completely agree with because you want to look glowy and everything but I could not be bothered with a lip gloss I'm just a more matte person because lip glosses just get on my nerves so so much it's ridiculous and that is that problem solved so this is the finished makeup look. Normally this takes me probably seven or eight minutes. Literally no time at all. But then again, I am quite speedy with things. Like even a full face of makeup I've done it in 20, 25 minutes. So yeah, if you do like watching this. If, so yeah, if you did like watching this video, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you have any video ideas, also let me know down below because I am seriously struggling at the moment. And I'll be back next Friday hopefully with a new video of some sort if I've managed to think of something. Bye!